All he got to do is beat Spence and Charlo. And then if he fights Thurman, Danny, or Boots, he's bona fide, like, top 10 fighter of all time. I think Bud's boxing could be too much for Errol Spence boxing in inside fighting style because I think Bud has a chance to pick him apart from the outside using the ring. On the other news, we got Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. The plot is getting thick. The plot is getting thick, cuz. No, why you here, though? Real quick, though. Can you hit the like button? Real rap, though. Like, it's, 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 I'm not asking for much. Just hit the like button for me real quick, though. I got EJ beating them the fuck up. Yeah, this is going to be the biggest fight of the decade. I got EJ beating Terrence Crawford the fuck up. It's going to be an easy work. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing a lot of you Terrence Crawford. Like, y'all, y'all hoes. Terrence Crawford fans, y'all hoes. Shout out to my real niggas that's Terrence Crawford fans. But the rest of you, y'all hoes. I'm not feeling you Terrence Crawford fans right now. Errol Spence is going to beat Terrence Crawford. He's going to dog walk him. But more important than that, right? It's a lot of you motherfuckers just counting on this one shot. Listen, think about how many times, and I've and I seen a couple people say this. I was thinking it. Shout out to everybody that already spoke on this. i seen Knockout speak on this. i seen... The real Marlo speak on this. I think I seen Showbiz speak on it. Listen, the one punch is... If y'all waiting for that drone for the mouthpiece to fall out, y'all already think y'all lost. We got y'all number. We got y'all motherfucking number. But listen, we gonna do that on another day. We got y'all... We, we gonna do that on another day, though. Yeah, Errol Spence is gonna break, cuz. Like I said, the fight happening still didn't hit me yet. You get what I'm saying? I'm more so focused on Big X the plug walking Spence out. Like, I've been having this battle in my head, like... When I be talking to Spence and shit, I be like, yo, cuz, do you think, like, you should walk out to Texas first or Big Stepper first? You know what I'm saying? Like, like should Texas play and then Big Stepper play? Because you're going to step on him, but you guys still represent Texas. Texas is the trap. You feel me? But at the same time, you know you're going to step to him. So maybe we walk out to Texas and we get closer to the stage, Big Stepper come on. You know what I'm saying? But I fuck with Big X the Plug. This is my favorite rapper. I told you these weeks ago. You get what I'm saying? Like, we could come out to any of the Big X the Plug song pick your poison you mean it's, it's however we feel like coming out yeah yeah we could feel we could come out the rush hour and let it be known we gonna get you niggas out of here yeah we not feeling you niggas jones hey bud bo mac what's up cuz i'll let me like you mean the fuck going you know what I'm saying? Because we not feeling y'all join. Yeah, we not feeling y'all join. If y'all didn't know. But yeah, I'm going to have to holler at Spence about that. We still trying to make a decision on which song we going to come out to. Yeah, and me, I'm a Spence fan that says we. Yeah, I'm a Spence fan that says we. You mean, I like all these niggas and all. Spence is my number one fighter. That's my favorite fighter. Yeah, yeah. So when it comes to teams, I'm team Spence. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to call him later, right? I can't give y'all all the details of like what we be rapping about and shit. But just know, on the real, like... We gonna beat Cuz the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. We gotta beat him up because we already know he's beat. You mean? We gonna beat him up because we know he's beaten. Yeah, and the fans, y'all beating worse. Yeah, the fans, y'all beating worse. You know what? Buzz sound like the fans. You get what I'm saying? That's why, I, like, it was a point in time motherfuckers was talking about Bud. I'm like, damn, I hope they not talking about him too crazy because I know Bud on YouTube every day, the way he be talking. You know what I'm saying? But listen, don't get it fucked up. I respect Bud. You get what I'm saying? I think Bud could outbox Spence and all that. I think he really could. Sugar Ray, I don't know why Spence posted Sugar Ray Leonard Hagler because Bud would be Leonard. You get what I'm saying? And Spence would be Hagler. And I watched that fight. And then the, the first half of the fight, Sugar Ray Leonard, to me, won all six rounds. Okay, maybe at least five because he was moving so good. And I don't remember how the second half went, but I know Hagler started to close the distance and get and hurt him, but it was like too late. You know what I'm saying? It felt like uh, Loma and what you call it? Uh, Haney. So I think it's going to be Hagler Hearns. You know what I'm saying? I've been saying this, though. Shout out to Showbiz. He recently said this, too. But, you know, I've been saying this for a long time. You could catch me on some panel. Shout out to Young Billy Boxing. That's my homie. You feel me? It's going to be under six, you know? It's going to be. It, to me, it was always going to be under six because, no, it wasn't always going to be under six. I used to think that Spence just work rate would just outpoint him, right? But I started watching Bud more, and I'm like, you know what? Bud could probably just outbox him, keep it simple. But the last fight that Bud had, that was a really telling fight to me. You know what I'm saying? In that fight, Bud showed me his insecurities. And listen, we know Errol Spence insecurities. So, yeah, let me tell you, Errol Spence, you know, Errol Spence talked about his teeth falling out. And that's a wild insecurity because, cuz, if your grippers fall out, you mean, that's crazy. Your grippers falling out, that 
that'd be heavy. You know what I'm saying? That would be the bed. You get what I'm saying? So I do understand you looking away, but nigga, it's a fight, cuz. You mean? You lucky cuz didn't sleep you, and I fuck with you. Listen, I be talking to Spence about this, like, yo, you look down on the ground again, like, you feel me? I'm probably gonna have to come to Dallas, and we gonna have to, like, slap box. Yeah, the way, the way, uh, Bud fought that last fight, it was telling. He was on some, oh, people saying, I can't start fast. Who said I can't start fast? I could start fast if I want to, cuz you don't start fast. People saying, I can't fight on the inside. I'm fighting the inside if I want to, cuz you don't really fight on the inside. Like, you good clincher, you mean? You counter puncher, you mean? You could box. You got all box niggas, you know all that. But he gave me like a vintage Shakur performance in his last fight where he he did start fast. He did have an active jab. It was more like a measuring jab, but it was active. You know what I'm saying? Can I really be mad at him? He fought on the inside a lot. You know what I'm saying? He got caught with a few shots. It wasn't big shots, but it was some power punches, you know? But it, he wasn't fighting no, no like, he wasn't fighting a B-level fighter. You know, let alone, I don't know if he was fighting a C-level fighter. But he fought on the inside, and he, and he, and he kept, a, kept the active jab. So not only that he showed his insecurity in the style that he chose to fight, even though we knew he was going to beat Cuz up, and we ain't going to take that away from him. It's still a human being that he beat up. He's still a human being. He's a phenomenal boxing human being motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? But what was I saying? It was obviously a tuna. It was clearly a tuna. You get what I'm saying? And we don't need tuna. You get what I'm saying? This is why we are on another level. Yeah, we. Nigga, I said we. Me, Errol Spence, Derek James. Like, we don't really got too many other people on the team. Everybody else you see, like, they're just there. It's really me and Spence figuring out all of you. You mean? We figured butt out. We was on the phone. We watching the fight. And then we was like, well, we don't got to watch this, man. He got this, nigga. Y'all think Spence fat? Count on a Spence that's not going to be in shape. Now, let me stop playing, though. But seriously, um... I feel like we gonna make Bud go rogue. We gonna make him fight. He liked to fight. He one of the sharpest niggas. But it's like when he start fighting, he gets so explosive, right? He gets so explosive. He used to be knocking niggas the fuck out. That's how I feel about Bud. He be knocking niggas the fuck out. He fuck around and knock Spence out. But what if he don't? Is he even gonna have the engine after that? Because you know, we a train. We come in with like, I mean, V12. He's a V8. We're V12. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's levels to this shit. Yeah, yeah it's really levels to this shit, you fucking dickhead. Yeah, it's really levels to this shit. And my man Spence, he's the level. Yeah, I think, look, Errol Spence is the number one fighter in the world. I said it a million times. I'm gonna keep saying it. If Bud beat him, I'm gonna be a believer, though, that he's the number one fighter in the world and not the number three fighter behind Shakur Stevenson or four fighter behind Tank. Because Tank might be number one or two. You you get what I'm saying? Errol Spence happens to be my favorite, but Tank is a bad motherfucker. Shakur is a bad motherfucker. And last but not least, Terrence Crawford is a bad motherfucker. Jamel Charlo is a bad motherfucker. It's some bad motherfuckers in boxing. Boxing is in a beautiful place. I'm just popping it how I pop it. I'm saying, knowing that nobody ain't gonna do nothing. And I'm just having fun. So dick up. Uh, no, nah, but I fuck with Bud, man. I watched the film and me and one of my homies, he a Bud fan. I'd be like, yo, if Bud could find the the, the, the Victor uh, Postal legs, this might be one of his easiest fights, for real, for real. Because I don't know if Spence could really just outbox him. And even if he can cut the ring off, if he got them legs alone, it's just annoying to be, like, tracking the nigga down like that. Especially a nigga sharp as Bud. Because you might track him down and you might just run into some shit. Like, damn, like, hold up. Let me reset. Because this nigga got some shit to him. He switches. He got angles. Like I said prior, Bud got one of the best punch variations you know what i'm saying he boots and bud is right there with tank i got tank number one best punch variation bull in boxing but bud and boots they on his ass and that's a lot to deal with especially a nigga that switch that got this punch variation it ain't gonna be sweet like i don't i don't want y'all to think that it's gonna be sweet like i see bud is a, a sharp ball but if you're on a counter punching time counter punching against a volume puncher like uh we're not worried about your counter punching because we about to come with so much volume you fucking dickhead like you're gonna be sick yeah yeah, that's why he was getting hit up in his last fight, trying to fight on the inside. Nigga, you better not fight. You better be clinching for greatness. Yeah, clinch your way to a win, bud. Because at the end of the day, even though I know Spence is going to win, I want I want the best version of Bud. I don't want no excuses. So I was happy he, he got the tune-up that he wanted and needed. We don't do tune-ups. You see? Is Spence going to make weight? Like, is he really going to make weight? Because he looking kind of big. No, that's because Bud is that small. He's a little nigga. We want to show you that there's levels to this shit. No, but Bud is really a nigga. He's a Hall of Famer, top 75 to 50 fighter already. Fighting Spence is going to put him in the top 50. You know what I'm saying? Beating Spence, then we're going to start having a whole different conversation. Y'all can do what y'all want with that.
that. I'm saying beating Spence, Charlo, coming back and just fighting Boots. He don't got to fight Boots. But I beat Spence, Charlo, fights Danny, Keith Thurman, or Boots. He's a top 15 fighter of all time. I don't care what nobody say. I'm actually going to have him top 10 of all time. You get what I'm saying? He don't have to win. Fight. All he got to do is beat Spence and Charlo. And then if he fights Thurman, Danny, or Boots, he's bona fide, like, top 10 fighter of all time. He could lose a lot of these fights I'm talking about. Fighting them fighting them is important. See, that's what makes Canelo a duck right now. And, like, I don't want to say it because I really love Canelo, but it's just like, Canelo, at this point, you playing with Mexico. You know what I'm saying? At this point, I'm about to call my homies from, like, you mean Mexico City to come holler at you because we're not filling your joint. And they already been telling me they're not filling your joint. I'm not filling your joint. Your joint is corn. We're not filling your joint. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's your joint? What's your joint, Nello? I like you. I'm off of Nello. Errol Smith's volume is too much for Bud's counterpunching. I think Bud's boxing could be too much for Errol Spence boxing and inside fighting style because I think Bud has a chance to pick him apart from the outside using the ring. I don't know if Bud has those legs. I don't think Errol Spence is concerned with his boxing because I think Errol Spence truly, truly believes in his ability to cut out the ring and his ability to work no matter what. Meaning pump that fucking jab, whether it's to your face, to your body, throw the left to your body and take some damage if I gotta get close. You know what I'm saying? But Bud is damaged ain't nothing to play with i'm saying it's he got the snap he got the accuracy and he got a rhythm and he's got the ability to set traps that you might not see what he hit you with and before you know it you might be jiggly but that don't matter cuz because we're gonna beat y'all the fuck you get what i'm saying we're gonna beat you up we're gonna surprise you with our counter punching ability we're gonna punch when you punch we're gonna touch your body we're gonna push you we're gonna bump you we're gonna get rough it's gonna get ugly we're gonna hold your head down you feel me yeah yeah we're gonna might hit you low yeah, right in your hips. We're going to punch you on your hips, your shoulders, your neck. You feel me? You're going to be getting hit everywhere, you fucking dickhead. Yeah, 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 dick. It's over. It's over. Omaha. Dick up. No, but y'all got a great player. Like, listen, I would be happy, like, you get what I'm saying? Malcolm X is from Omaha, too. But you ain't Malcolm X, nigga, like, you mean? No, but I fuck with you, cuz, you mean? But you don't believe that shit. You bet. You definitely don't believe that shit you was talking about with Boots, though. Yeah, you don't believe that shit, cuz. Yeah, holla at him after this, then. If you if you that nigga, holla at him. I'm saying after you take a loss, you mean? Take like a year and a half, two years off, you mean? Because I don't know if we're going to get a second fight, to be honest. I don't know. That'd be dope, though. You get what I'm saying? If Bud don't retire and shit, that'd be dope. Like, for real. He ain't gonna retire. He's a nigga. He's a man. But the second fight? Yeah, Spence is definitely winning the second fight. Everybody knows that. Everybody with a brain knows Spence is winning the second fight. But unless Bud knock you out in the first fight, which I don't see happen, but I can see it happening. Can I really see it happening? If Bud knock out Spence, it's gonna be late. It ain't gonna be early. I don't think it's gonna be early. You mean, unless Spence is just rusty, then it could be early. I don't see it like that, though. I see it being late. I see it if he does knock him out. Yeah, so I see all the scenarios. I see... Spence winning by decision. I can see Bud winning by decision. I can see Spence knock him out. I can see Bud knocking him out. But I'm picking Spence to knock him smooth the fuck out. Not smooth though, but yeah, it's gonna be smooth at the end. Like it probably just be Bo Mac like throwing a bag of chips in the ring. Like. Beach chip. Beach. Hey, hey. Hey, big extra motherfucking hey, club, little bro. bitch, I'm smoking on Zaza. Who you want next? Well, you already know who I want. I, I've been calling them out all day, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll go up to 154. Maybe if Spence get his tail out his butt, he'll fight me. You know what I mean? Whatever, you know what I mean? I will, whatever. What's next? Oh, well, er everybody know who I want next. I want Chad Crawford next. You're going to make that happen? Huh? You're going to make that happen? Oh, definitely. That's the fight that I want. Hey, bitch, I'm from Texas. Every morning I had a monotony Lord at the floor as I packed the garage